Guess what we're going to be doing at 3.30 in the morning. We're going to be taking this 12-inch Dobsonian up on a ridge and trying to get some good video footage of Comet Neowise. There it is, live view. Uh, I'm running prime with my 12-inch telescope. We're using the Aperture 12-inch Dobsonian scope. And I'll be putting, hopefully, if we can get enough light let in, which this is a light bucket, a 9 millimeter eyepiece to try to zoom in. Otherwise, I'm going to be running prime with my Sony A7S uh, hooked directly to it. And that should give us more than enough light. So cross our fingers. This will be the first time I've ever used the telescope on a comet. And actually, the last comet I saw was Halley's Comet years and years ago and of course then they didn't even think they had youtube out this is what the telescope looks like set up i've got probably about 800 dollars total into it it's the basic dipsonian and the whole reason why i bought it was for the purpose of things like this comp upcoming comet basics but it's a light bucket doesn't have a lot of frills or anything but when you point it at something it sucks in the light just unreal because of this that mirror down there 12 inch primary mirror pretty neat huh so let's wait till 3 30 in the morning all right there it is the comet i'm gonna leave this uh turn my iso up and I'm going to get the telescope out and get that set up before it gets daylight. can't believe I found it. That's pretty awesome. That's real awesome. I'm going to take a couple more pictures. Actually, I'm going to get the telescope hooked up. There it is. Live view. Uh, I'm running prime with my 12-inch telescope. Look at that tail on that thing. I'm going to turn my ISO up even more. Wow, that is so cool. I got to get a couple pictures quick first before it gets too light out. Okay, there we are. Look at this thing. My gosh. Is that not cool or what? Turn my ISO up a little bit more. There's 160,000. That is neat. Just to show you a comparison, that's that comet. And over here, that's Venus. And there's a planet next to it. I don't know if that's Neptune or not. There's the morning star. Let's get back to that comet. Once in a lifetime. That is so cool. Here we are yet with a 9mm eyepiece close range. I'm going to go back to prime. Sun's coming up. It's getting uh, to where it's hard to see it. Here we are. That is so awesome. Look at that. I'm going to quick pan over to the moon while I'm here. And 
and there is the moon for anybody that uh, hasn't seen it through a 12 inch scope pretty neat and there is Venus and I do believe Neptune could be wrong and we're done I've lost track of that uh, comet sun's up high enough it's hard to see it unless I stumble on it um I did still visible all right sun's getting ready to come up so we're hitting this one last time I'm just in awe on that tail very long tail awesome couple more picks okay as you can see there sun's getting closer to the horizon and the comet's disappearing I cannot see it with my unaided eye right now but I can see it in the camera there you go pretty awesome